Hello everyone, this is Susie from createdacraft.com. My YouTube name is S. Kimball 2000 and it's been a while since I've done a video, but with summer and, and everything just getting away from me, um, gosh, it's just been hard to, to get things done. I actually have a lot of stuff to share, I just haven't had time to do videos and hanging out with my grandkids and family. So anyway, in this first mini, I want to, sh I mean in this first uh, YouTube video, I want to show you a a mini that I completed. It's a Halloween mini. It's uh, the paper line is uh, by Die Cuts with the View. It's their Midnight Spell line and the actual size of the mini is uh, five and a half inches tall and it's six inches wide. And this is the first time I've used the Stack the Deck binding system by uh, Laura from Following the Paper Trail and oh my gosh I really liked it. The only thing I need to do is add a little charm here. I just haven't made one yet. Anyway, I'll get started. And here's just the front cover, a piece from the collection. And I just did a little trim with, uh, I bound it with uh, the paper. And uh, I reinforced it also. And then I just used a Martha, no, this is a Stampin' Up! Uh, border punch. And that's the back of the album. Then here's the front. And I just did a some Iron Roses flowers, some seam binding, and then I made just a little flower out of some Primas and this pretty spray here. And then I added a Tim Holtz, um, gosh, you know, <laughs> that shiny stuff. <laughs> anyway, here's the first page, and it's uh, it just says Beware. It holds a tag, the inside cover, it's Prima flowers, and this is my Martha Stewart border punch that I used in a tag from the collection. And here's the first tag. It's really cute with the little spiders. I just at, the tag is also a little pocket. If you can see that right here, just uh, right there. And there's the back of the tag. I I used uh, a lot of washi tape. I just love washi tape, and that's the back of that tag. This page is kind of cool because I know it's kind of weird, but I actually put a zipper in here in the paper. See, it unzips doesn't really do anything it's just for looks and then here are some little little things I cut out from the collection and here's another little tag you can put a picture on here there's plenty of room for journaling on the back more washi tape and it says stuff and then here's the pocket inside here and just a little pin and the first photo mat it's, you can do a lot of journaling on this photo mat and then back here you can put a nice picture that's that one the next page. Oh, this is that uh, glitter ribbon that I just love. It's so pretty. And then the next page, there's a few more tags in here. Um, these are from the collection. And this is just another pretty tag. I, I love the paper, so I did a tag with that. And on the back, you can put a photo and just added some ribbon to the top of it there. And this is a pocket I made with a doily. And then this is a little doily I made with the MFT wafer thin dies. On this page, I love this page too, I used uh, some spider web ribbon, some little, just some little um, stickers I had from somewhere from a long time ago in my stash. Here's another tag. It's decorated with uh, paper from the collection, little stickers from the collection, and then on the back there's actually room for a photo there. That'll fit a two by three photo. And then, of course, there's the pocket here. And then this photo mat, you can put a nice picture on this one. Flip it over and there's room for journaling. Just talk about your favorite candy or what, what the night was all about, things you loved, you know. Okay, next page. I like this page too. These are just some popped up plastic letters. Um, I'm not sure where they're from. Just uh, some that I bought at Joann's. Then I just cut out an arrow with some of the paper pointing up to this scary looking spider. And I put some red stickles on them. Even though the, the red's supposed to be on the belly, it looks kind of cool. And then this page, there's more uh, tags inside. I did a diagonal tag holder here. And and then these glittery brads I ha got from Stampin' Up, they're really pretty. I love the colors, perfect for the f Halloween. And then some more tags. This one I put that sparkly mesh on there. I like using that stuff. 
in the back, some more washi tape. But you can add pictures to that. There's a little one you can journal on. Room for journaling. And then of course the pocket here. And then this photo mat here will hold a nice size photo. There's the back for more uh, journaling. It says double, double, foil and treble. Just a little sticker with some jack-o'-lanterns and then the journaling spot says trick or treat. And again I put some little candy stickers on there, lollipops, candy corn, and a little spider. And I use stickles to make his little web. The next page holds another tag. This is so cute, these little monsters. This would be cute to do a child's Halloween. Put all their pictures in, you know. This is a, a tag I made, and this is a Sizzix die that I just cut out. And then, of course, on the back, you can add a picture, whatever you'd like. And then here's another spider I added here on this page, on the spider paper. It's really cute. I love these little spiders. This one's coming down where the other one was going up. And then I made this little envelope. And you can actually put something in here if you want to. There's another little journaling tag inside. It goes right back in this little envelope. It's, I really like this little envelope. It's just so cute. And then it closes back up. Just wrap it back up. Anyway, you get the picture. <laughs> okay, and this is another photo mat. And if you want to put a picture of your child's costume, whatever they wore, it's just a really nice place to put it. There's a little mask sticker on there and some uh, really cute ribbon. On the back, it says trick or treat, and there's some little tags from the collection that I add little flowers to. And then you can journal on this little trick or treat spot. page. There's a, uh, a frame that I bought at um, Scrapbook Convention last year. I'm not sure who, what booth I got it from, but you can actually put a photo inside of here. And then the sticker from the collection says October 31st. And then this page you can add a nice picture. And I put some, some bling on there and it says Happy Halloween. Just added a few stickers and then the little spider up at top. Put the little red stickles on them. And then I just doodled a little spider web going up and a little safety pin with some cute ribbon. And then here's this photo mat with little ghost ribbon. And then the back of it is got lots of stickers, candy stickers, caramel apples, washi tape, and then a little place for you to journal. This album is really cute. Really, really cute. I like it. I love Halloween colors anyway. And then here's another page, and this one is actually, uh, this actually comes off. It's on with Velcro, and what it is is a, just a little envelope that opens up. You can journal on it, add a tiny little picture. When I um, add little pictures to areas like this, I'll take a regular 4x6 photo, and then I'll actually start punching, punching out um, with, uh, well here, Punching out with a round punch or square punch and uh, people's faces or heads or even just depending on the size and they fit in there perfect on these little on these little photo mats. And then here's another photo mat. It looks like a little chalkboard. It's all trimmed in festive Halloween ribbon. And then here's the back. Put another photo. And then this also is a pocket and this opens up with a magnet. And it says witch. You can put a photo there. And then witch is night out. And this actually comes out. It's just what I put in, in place of the photo mat. Closes with a magnet. And this is the last page. And it's uh, a nice place to put a photo. I just added some fibers and a button for, you know, it looks cute. And on the back inside cover, there's a pocket. I added some Prima flowers, burlap leaf, and then there's a nice big photo mat here. It has a little charm that I made just out of a, let's see here. So one side is a jack-o'-lantern, and the side is a chandelier. 
in the back of it, it says Happy Halloween. You can put a nice photo there. Anyway, this is my photo album. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really had fun making it. And I really like that uh, from Laura Dennison, The Following the Paper Trail. I love that uh, Stack the Deck binding. I'm going to use it again. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye.